It looks like Sugar and Drake might be finally doing some really, really good damage thanks to the upcoming unit Toph, uh, because she's basically buffing all the shotguns. And this might make some really good shotgun teams, just like in the beta, because they were really, really overpowered and they nerfed them on release. So let's talk about this. Hello, the internet. Welcome back to Rutan Waifus. We're going to be checking the new in game notice in Nike and checking everything that's coming on the next version with the new patch, the new character, and everything, uh, some possible team compositions as well. And you know, before we start like always leave a like subscribe to the channel we stream every single day our gacha grind our daily gacha grind playing our different games right now it's nike rivers 1999 and we started playing sky fortress odyssey <laughs> a really weird game that we're just having fun playing on the stream so that said let's read these patch notes let's see what we are getting in the next patch this is coming by the way november 23 so just when red ash and the anniversary ends and speaking of the anniversary it's been Amazing. I'm not going to be talking about the story because we have holographic for that and because I skipped the story. Yes, I'm a story skipper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am. So, everything else, the mini game, the characters, all of the rewards we've been getting, it's been incredible. I am a little bit conflicted when it comes to the chapters, the, the campaign story 25 and 26 because I believe they were uh, just too easy. It's not that it's too easy. I don't think it's a bad thing per se. But for example, in chapter 26, it was harder getting to the boss, I'm not gonna say spoilers just in case you haven't reached it, that rather than killing him, right? It was a lot harder getting to that point rather than killing him. Killing him is, was like the, the two minute fight that you can do in 20 seconds. There's almost no mechanics or nothing. So I, I felt that the balance between the campaign levels and the bosses were a little bit different, but it's fine, you know, overall, really good experience, really happy. Let's get into this directly. So, once again, November 23, we're saying goodbye to the anniversary and we're getting our new version with the major update, new character Tove, eliminated the squad's newbie. So, with Ludmilla and Alice, who claims to be a survival expert, as is our Nika Tove joins the battlefield. Either she really is a survival expert or she's gonna have another sad backstory. Please, Nika, just give us a couple happy Nikas. <laughs> what is this? Crying after crying after. Oh my god. So that's it. Tove specialized in strengthening allies wielding SGs, weapons, shotgun weapons. With her normal attacks, she enhances the attack power of all allies and grants more beneficial effects to allies using shotgun weapons, class, supporter, weapon, energetic survival, assault rifle, so 60 weapon, uh, so 60 bullets as a base, cold water manufacturer missiles. <laughs> Wind still gets shafted, Elysian still gets shafted, we don't talk about that. That's it. If I remember correctly, I think it's a burst one or burst two. I think it's a burst one. Don't quote me on that. I think it's a burst one. It's not a limited character. So at least it's a broken character and we will be testing. I will not recommend pulling. If she's your waifu, of course, go for that. Not gonna complain, right? We all know this 4% to get her. You can use your golden ticket, which I will not recommend, but you do you. We're getting a new costume, special costume, nor black rabbit. You might have seen this, this skin somewhere already. It's looking good. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> this open gentle breath of the black rabbit. You might be thinking, is she already a rabbit or a bunny? Rather, right? And uh, no, it's different. So you'll see. Uh, something I am disappointed is. Why is not getting a skin, but not blank? Hey, shift up. What is the skill for, for blank? I prefer blank. What is the skin for my girl? <laughs> so we're gonna buy this. This is a this is the 14th season pass. So this is gonna be in here, right? This is gonna be the normal one. It's not special. We're only getting one, not two, which is good. After this anniversary, a lot of money is spent. I am happy going back to normal, just one mission pass. So we're getting that, the new character, a new event, which is Alone Survivor from November 23 to the 7th of December. A normal event, maybe after that we are getting our Christmas event, we'll see what it is. And we'll talk about it in a second too. What is this event about? Tove, the passionate self proclaimed survival expert, finally joins her dream squad, Unlimited, and embarks on search operations with them. Will Tove be able to showcase her capabilities to her squad mates? Players can enter the Alone Survivor event page and complete the stage to win the usual rewards, right? We're also getting a new challenge stage, which if it has the same rewards as the anniversary or similar when every time you clear for the first time we're getting molds that's gonna be amazing pretty good we're getting a new seven day login calendar which i guess we're getting a normal multi as well then we're getting fall birthday only one weekend it seems so fall birthday weekend is not a permanent thing the way they worded it on the patch notes for anniversary made it look like it might be something permanent 
it's not it's not looking like it's gonna be the case so we're going back to only fall burst weekends from time to time then we have the archives with miracle snow and this is one of the things i want to talk about if we are getting miracle snow on the archives now it's fully voice said available in their outfit right does this mean that we're not getting a rerun that we're getting something different for this year christmas i will not mind different events every year but i would prefer if they rerun the characters i think we've talked about this a lot of times but the only character that i'm missing and i'm gonna be pissed if they don't rerun her uh, because my self-entitlement nothing else honestly miracle fairy and it's the this is the only character that i'm missing and i would love to get her if possible of course right so we'll see what they do with rerunning events or what's the plan after this new event allows survivor so other than the login calendar and miracle is now coming to the archives we are getting the next season for junior right which is going to be from november 24th up to november 30. i don't really care about junior right i'm still competing I, i'm happy on my union deadlift shout out to all the homies i think a couple of you watch my videos really appreciate it you know really appreciate it we're also getting more co-op i still think this should be something permanent this is just my opinion uh, me and a lot of people really enjoy co-op but we just cannot do it consistently or semi-consistently right such we're getting this only for two days from december 1 to december 3rd that's nice now new commodities which is the usual stuff of the shop you can buy this on the shop uh, you know new packages that we're gonna be getting and the december mission pass which is the one with north special costume other than that we're also getting some optimizations and miscellaneous updates which they will announce when the time comes now that those are the patch notes but i want to talk about something else and that is the team composition a lot of people are uh, seem to be recommending the same team composition and that is just shotguns why would you do that people that seem to be recommending something like this right where you are putting uh what is this where is where are my other girls where are my other shotguns one is here and what is the other what is sugar i am blind today here so people seem to be recommending this um there's quite a few problems with this already, right? And they're saying, oh, so we'll go here. First of all, if this is a B1, which should be, <laughs> this means we need cooldown reduction. There is not a lot of units we provide cooldown reduction. If we talk about B2s, because she's gonna be a B1, if she's a B1, <laughs> this leaves us with Dola in here, or maybe with Helm, Aquamarine in here, if you prefer. Dola is gonna be better just because she provides a lot more buffs in general, right? She's gonna be better. So you might be left with something like Dola in there, Helm Aquamarine in there. Even if it's a B1, you may be able to run just shotguns, which will benefit you because Nord is also both in there. And then you will have this first spot for that. I wish you still fuck your rotation with this because there's not enough cooldown reduction. So probably the recommended is gonna be Dola in there for Drake and Sugar. If she is really making a difference for shotgun attackers and damage. Then you will have your B1, which is going to be Taupe, and then you'll have another B3, which most likely, like most of the time, right, if you want to be dealing extra damage, it's going to be something like Modernia or something that can be dealing good amounts of DPS without the need of Percy. Now, this is assuming she is a Percy 1. What if she is a Percy 2? Well, that's even easier because you already have good units in here. You can put Litter, you can put Dorothy. You can put volume. No, you should not be making a full shotgun team just because she buffs shotgun. That's stupid. That doesn't make any sense because you will be losing your rotations. People really underestimate how important getting cooldown in your team is. And there is a reason why we see constantly cooldown reduction on every single team for solo raid. And that's why we see characters like Helm Aquamarine getting a lot of use in solo raid just because of the cooldown reduction. But that said, do let me know what team you are planning on building with her. If you are happy about shotguns getting buffers now, I'm happy because I do like Drake and Sugar, so that's good for them. I am still a little bit sad that I skipped Sugar's mission pass. Hopefully we get a rerun. We'll see how, what, what they plan on doing. Also, we're going to be doing viewers poll. We're going to be doing Core 7, of course. We're going to be doing my polls. We're going to be doing a couple of MLBs as well. So, you know, when the patch drops, come and say hello. We're going to be having a fun time. That's going to be it for this one, boys. Thank you to my patrons for making this content possible. You can join them with the link in the description down below. Good luck with your pull the internet. I'll see you in the next one.